Welcome, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action from Staff Gymnasium. We've got Notre Dame Prep coming in here at 8 and 9, going up against your Bo Brockton Boxes, coming in here at 9 and 5. Brockton in their white jerseys, Notre Dame in their black jerseys with red lettering. Notre Dame coming out of Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Got to give them a lot of credit coming down here to play the big boys. They've only got two players on the bench. So um, we just might be able to see some of the Brockton High bench players get a little bit more playing time this evening if, if this gets out of hand. Notre Dame wins the tap. Like the Notre Dame's playing one on one. And first shot's in and out. And it's going to be out of bounds on Notre Dame, so Brockton will get the basketball for the first time this evening. Inside to Okandola, he off the glass, and he's fouled. Right away, so Okandola will go to the free throw line. First free throw attempt is good. The Notre Dame Prep Crusaders, again out of Fitchburg, Massachusetts. And Okandola is two for two from the free throw line. Two nothing lead here early on in this basketball game. Long three is no good. That was Silva with the rebound and quickly come the boxes and it's thrown away by Davis. A little miscommunication right there. Again, looks like Brockton's playing a man-to-man -man defense. And ball is taken away by Davis. Good defense by Okandola. Okandola underneath nicely to uh, the Santos. Four nothing boxer lead. They try to get it inside, again, stolen by the boxes. Silva drives to the basket, and it's good. Nice job coming from the left-hand side and lays it up and in. Oh, stolen by DeSanto, and stolen back by the prep. And he's fouled underneath. That was Hammond. And he'll go to the free throw line. And that foul will be on Silva, his first. Excuse me, that'll be on number 12, Davis. His first with uh, 619 left in this first quarter. And we got our first sub for Notre Dame prep. Canta comes in, number 10. for the uh, prep. They get in the corner, back outside. The Santos is good, three-pointer, hits it from the corner. Notre Dame drives inside and it's gonna be off the boxes. You'll see the replay here from the three-point range in the corner. Good. Marquise Dos Santos. So the Crusaders take it out in the corner. Inside. And number 23 drives hard to the basket. Russell Rain, and he is fouled. And that is on Okanola. And that's his first. 
First free throw attempt is no good. Second free throw attempt is missed. Davis comes down quickly, Okanola. They shoot around the horn, back inside. In the corner, Davis, air ball. And back come the Crusaders. Davis steals it again. Okanola inside to Davis. Nice job by the boxes there. Okanola knows how to find his man, his open man. Back come the Crusaders. And that's going to be a good defensive play as uh, Notre Dame throws it away because of Brockton's defense. Oh, Notre Dame trying to trap, trap the guard there, uh, Robinson. And he gets it inside, back out. Davis with a lot of pressure. Long bomb is good. It's Todd Robinson from the three, 14 to one. And again, Davis steals it. That's about his third or fourth steal early on in this first quarter with 4.43 on the clock. So Notre Dame will take it out from the side in front of the uh, boxer bench. Long bomb is no good. Davis with the rebound, gets it up quickly. And it's gonna be a turnover. And they try to work it inside, and it's stolen by the boxers again. Davis. Excuse me, that was uh, Silva with the easy layup. Nice drive, but he can't finish it off. Pass is stolen. And here come the Crusaders. Oh, nice little... Jump shot. And Notre Dame gets their first two points of the game. So it's 18 to three. Oak and Lola. Good defense and here come the uh, Crusaders. And the shot is missed. Back come the boxers. Oak and Lola, nice pass. Underneath, made it look easy. Back outside with the ball. And it's knocked out of bounds by Brockton's defense. And we got a full five-man substitution for the boxes. And you see the score, so we'll see some of these guys off the bench get a little bit more playing time this evening, I'm sure. And that'll still be Crusaders' ball underneath. With three minutes left in this first quarter. This is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson bringing you all the action this evening. 
right here at Staff Gymnasium. In the corner. Post move. And they're going to call travel. It's a good move. It's just he moved his foot just enough for the referee to blow the whistle. That's Starks with the ball. Starks takes the three and hits. Shot is missed. They get their own rebound, try to put it up and in. They get it in. That's Ryan Hammond with the um, offensive boards there. Blakely in the middle to Starks again. Long bomb is no good. Rebound boxes. Inside is no good. And that was number 34, Nichols, with the third attempt. In the paint, good. That was Hammond again. Crusaders got seven points on the board. Shot is partially blocked. So we got some more substitutions with one minute, 37, 36 seconds left in this first quarter. You see the score. Brockton in full command of this basketball game early on in this first quarter. The whole starting bench, starting five have sat down for the boxes. Get a well-deserved rest. Offensive board is good. Nichols again underneath, just gobbling up uh, offensive boards and putting them in for easy two. Three-point, no good air ball. Back come the boxes. They're running. Oh, and it is blocked by Ipke. I hope I'm pronouncing his, his name right, Ipke. You'll see the replay. Look at that right there. Swatted it right away, not in our house. Crusaders outside. In the paint. Stop and pop is good. Get up, get up, get up. By Russell Rank. Blakely drives to the basket and is blocked. Back come the Crusaders. And they're going to call a charge. Nice position by uh, Trenton Biddle. He held his own, kept his feet stable, and got the call. 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Clock runs with less than 30 seconds here in the first quarter. Blakely. Inside, tried to get inside, not a good pass. Taken up by the Crusaders. A little short pop is good. By Hammond. He scored most of the points in this basketball game. Blakely stop and pop his air ball. And that's it for the first quarter. You see the score, 27-11, Brockton in total. Total control from the odds from the offset. I don't think the Crusaders scored their first bucket until about four or five minutes, about five minutes into the basketball game. And Brockton's defense is just too quick for Notre Dame's offense. And Notre Dame's def uh, defense. Brockton's offense is too quick on that end. So Coach Bowen is talking to his um his second tier players. And they've done a good job picking up where the uh, starters left off. And 
And you can see uh, Notre Dame preps coach talking to his team. Box to start out this second quarter with the basketball, almost stolen. Blakely inside and is good. That was Nichols again underneath, just taking advantage of the situation. Brockton playing some tough defense. There's not a lot Notre Dame can do. They're trying to find an open man. Four seconds on the shot clock. And the shot clock get goes off. No communication by the Crusaders on when, when that uh, 10, 30 second clock drops down to about 10 seconds. Somebody should let them know out there. Biddle inside, and they're going to call jump ball. As Nichols was tied up, it'll be possession Notre Dame. And we get the most of the starting five back in there. With the exception, we've got number 31, Noah. Try to get this last name, but Noah's in there, number 31 for the boxes. Steal right there. Nice pass. Easy two. You know, if anything, this is this is good practice for Brockton's transition game. Get the ball down quickly. Just missed. And Brockton brings it back out. In the corner. And Davis drives in to get the easy two. Ooh, nice pass inside, and he gets the shot off and in. Russell Rain again, number 23, with the inside move. Long shot, no good off the rim, and DeSantos has it. And it's stolen. Long three's good. Nothing but bottoms. 33-16, 526 left in this second quarter. Ooh, stolen. Okanlola tried to get it inside with the pass, and it was stolen. Crusaders with a pass. Brockton just playing tough D. You'll see here on the replay that long three. He was open, and he hit the shot. That's the key to Crusaders. They have to get their guys open, which is hard to do because Brockton's so quick on defense. But that time, the Crusaders took advantage and was able to um, produce three points. Long shot is no good. The Santos up and in. Nice touchdown pass from his teammate. Notre Dame back down on offense. Try to get inside, they do, and he's fouled. So Notre Dame's working it inside to um, their big man, Russell Rain, and he'll be at the free throw line to shoot two. You'll see it right here. They get it inside to him, puts it right up. Doesn't put the ball back on the floor. He just puts it right up and gets fouled, I believe, by Davis. That's his second foul of the game. 436 left in this second quarter. And 
And he makes his second free throw attempt. And back come the box boxes. Okanlola use the inside moves in the paint, produces two. Inside again, and woo, looked like there was a body contact there, no call. Robinson puts it in for an easy two. Boxes up, 39-18. Shot is good. That was by Hammond again. Stolen by the Crusaders. Here they come. They try to get not a good pass. Try to get it inside. Back to Hammond, but stolen. Oaken Lola in the corner to DeSantos, and he misses the shot. Back outside to Robinson. Long three is no good. Oaken Lola with the rebound in the paint. Drives. Swatted away from him, or well, he lost the handle with the ball. And Notre Dame misses the shot, and back comes the boxes. Ooh, nice dish off to Davis, and he finger rolls it right in the paint. Nice job by Davis, moving without the basketball. 21 point boxer lead here in the second quarter. Here you'll see, watch Davis come right there in the paint moving and nicely dished to, uh, who was that? That was DeSantos with the dish. So good communication by the boxers on that half court offense. Little spin move and he gets it in, nice job by Russell Rain. <laughs> Ooh, definitely miscommunication there as number 31, Noah throws it away. Box to try to work it inside. I mean, excuse me, the uh, Crusaders get the uh, offensive board. Crusaders looking for somebody that's open inside. Shot is missed, rebound boxes. In the corner. Silva in the paint, lays it up and in. Nice job by Silva, going right to the basket. He saw the opening, took advantage with 138 on the clock here in the second quarter. Bad pass. Santos misses the layup. And Nichols couldn't finish it off, and I believe he was fouled. So he'll get a chance at the free throw line with 126 left on the clock. Boxes with a commanding lead. So Nichols misses, misses his first free throw attempt. He misses his second, 0 for 2 there at the free throw line. Long three is good. It's number 10. Steve Casanta. Stop and pop is no good. Nichols gets the rebound. Stocks in the corner, back out top. Silva with the long three is no good. Air ball. So 
So we got a timeout with 50, 50 seconds left on the clock. Notre Dame Crusaders call a timeout. And you see the score, 43-25. Brockton Community Access Sports. And Brockton's next game will be February 15th. Right here, Staff Gymnasium against Catholic Memorial. 7 p.m. start, y'all come on out. That should be a good one. As Catholic Memorial comes all the way from West Roxbury, Massachusetts. So Notre Dame has found out their strength is to get it inside to their big man, Russell Rain, and let him uh, bang bodies and try to get a few of the uh, boxers, big men in foul trouble, and, and at the same time, put some shots in from inside the paint. And it's been working. But that's about all they have. And once in a while, my man right there, number 30, Ryan Hammer, who's really been hitting a lot of shots between him and the big man. They've kept this Notre Dame team in double digits. They've got 27, 28 points. And right now, they I'm not sure if um, our scoreboard is incorrect or the actual official scoreboard has 43-27 Crusaders are down. 16 and counting inside, and there's a foul. So with 13.4 seconds left, Box is up 43-27, to 27, and the big man will go to the free throw line, Russell Rand. And his first free throw attempt is good. Half court, half court 55. Half court and I tell you, the Notre Dame Crusaders have made big strides since that first quarter. They had a tough time trying to figure out how to score some points. But they finally figured it out. Still got a huge mountain to climb, but they've got some points on the board. And... Time runs out here in the second quarter. You see the score on your um, screen, 43 to 28. And um, it's basically Brockton's been very dominant. So we'll be back with second half action in a moment. Hey! There are amazing things to discover in the forest. Toothless, time to go. <laughs> what you picking up on, bud? It's a whole hidden world of wonders and the perfect place to spend time with family. What better place to let your imagination soar, experience nature, and create a memory you can share? Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Hay cosas increíbles para descubrir en el bosque. Toothless, time to go. What you picking up on, bud? Es un mundo entero de maravillas escondidas. Y el lugar perfecto para pasar tiempo con la familia. No hay mejor lugar para dejar volar tu imaginación. Siente la naturaleza y haz memorias para compartir. Visita descubreelbosque.org para encontrar un bosque o parque cerca de ti. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action from Staff Gymnasium here in Brockton, Massachusetts. You see the score right there, boxes 43-28. They basically taking care of the Crusaders in that first half, but give the Crusaders credit. They did play a valiant second quarter there to um, bring it back. You see as close as they can get right now, but what the Crusaders have to do in this second half, they have to... Um, do a little bit better job on taking care of the basketball. Way too many turnovers in that first half for uh, Notre Dame. And all Brockton has to do is just keep playing their game, stay aggressive, and stay focused, and they'll definitely come out, come out of here with the win. The Santos back up top. 
over in the corner. Silva takes the shot, missed. It was short, and Davis comes back out top. Inside to Silva, and he's going to be fouled. Boxers in their white jerseys, white pants. Notre Dame prep is in their all black jersey with the red numbers. Ball will be taken out from underneath by DeSantos. Robinson hits it. Todd Robinson from the corner received the in -ball, inbound pass and took it. And not a good pass. Lands in the Silva's hands. Okanlola in the corner, back out top. Robinson with the corner shot is no good. Rain comes out of there with the ball. And just taken away. And pass to Robinson and he lays it up and in. That was too easy. Again, stolen. And Robinson loses the basketball, and Notre Dame catches a break right there. That was an easy two, but Robinson lost a dribble. In the corner, and it's off uh, Notre Dame there. And timeout, Notre Dame prep with 6.33 here in the third quarter, 47-28. And again, Notre Dame Crusaders started playing sloppy basketball, and the Brockton Boxers took advantage of it, scored about six easy points. And the coach for Notre Dame realized he needs to call, call a uh, timeout and uh, get his team back in focus. So it'll be um, so it'll be Brockton's ball. Inside the Oakland Lola, inside move, and they're gonna call travel. Yes, he did. Back come the Crusaders. Down by 19 points. Long three is no good. Rain with the rebound inside, and the shot is good. By Hammond, nice little underneath the backboard shot. Inside the Okanlola. And they're going to call travel on Silva, I believe. 5.55 left in the third period. 17-point boxer lead. Inside. And the shot is blocked. Kind of a wild shot. Robinson with the feed and is good. Long three is in and out. That was uh, Hammond with the rebound. Could not capitalize on the offensive boards. He missed a shot, but he'll go at the free throw line for two. First free throw attempt is good by Hammond. And he makes his second.
Robinson to Okanlola. He's going to take the three in and out. Davis with the offensive boards in the corner to Robinson. Good. Robinson warming up in this third quarter. Long three is no good. Here comes Davis to Robinson. Uh, yeah, he tried to be tried to do a little uh, showtime, and Silva makes up for it and hits the long three. Bad pass. Robinson with the feed, and he misses the shot, but a miss by DeSantos. Robinson to Davis. Santos, excuse me, Silva hits the three from way outside up top. Box is starting to open it up with the outside shooting. Score 58-32. 60-32 with four minutes and five seconds left. I think the Crusaders are getting a little tired. They've only got two subs on the bench. So they're doing their best to try to stay with this boxer team. Okanlola, who almost came in and slammed it home. Back come the Crusaders and they make the easy two. Long shot to Okanlole, puts it right back and in. Nice pass. Notre Dame wasn't even ready for that one. Inside, stolen. Robinson lays it up and in. And this third quarter has been a real clinic for when the defense steals the ball and quickly comes down and gets an easy two. They've done it about five or six times. Here's another time. Let's see. DeSantos lays it up and in. With three minutes left to go, Notre Dame calls another timeout. There's nothing they can do with this starting box of five. You see it right here. This is what they've been doing the whole third quarter. Easy twos. Robinson just kisses it off the glass and in. Way too easy for this boxer team at the moment. And you can see Coach Bowman talking to his team. And you can see there's only seven players for the uh, Notre Dame prep team. And you know they're huffing and puffing. And there's still two minutes and 58 seconds left in this third quarter. Here's, that, here's another easy two by DeSantos. Marquise. And they will all get a well-deserved rest. And we've got a fresh five in there for the boxes. And for the first time this evening, we see Zenden Korea get some uh, playing time. In the corner to Starks. Back across to Brittle. Brittle back out top to Blakely. Takes the three good. Diamond Blakely. He can hit that open shot. You'll see it right here on the replay. Brittle wisely dishes it back out top at the key. Three-point shot is good. We're back to live action. Brittle with the three. And rebounded by the boxes. Blakely misses. Inside to number 34. Nichols gets the rebound, tries to put it back up, but he is fouled, and he will go to the free throw line for two shots with two minutes and three seconds left in this third quarter. Nichols, no good on the first free throw attempt. And lane violation.
by the boxes, so it'll be uh, Notre Dame's ball with exactly two minutes left in this third quarter. Long three is in and out. Starks back out to Blakely, inside to Nichols. And he puts it up in, in the paint. Nice post up. They get it in the middle, but it's Blakely takes it. Korea, bam! Slams it home. Zenden Korea. Took full advantage of that one. Shot is missed. Nichols outside to Zenden. Street, oh, he misses the dunk. That was a nice drive. He just streaked in there, but he just couldn't quite finish it off. Zenden, three is no good. Nichols is there for the easy bunny. Right place at the right time, playing his position. 31 seconds to go in this third quarter. You'll see it right here, Zenden sets himself up for the monster jam. That was his first shot of the evening and brought the crowd to its feet. Back to live action. Prep, turn around, and shot is no good. And here come the boxes again. Brittle to Starks. Back to Brittle, to Blakely. Starks with the three, good! And there you have it, that's the end of the fourth, third, excuse me, that's the end of the third quarter. Boxes with a commanding lead. You see it there on your screen. 78-34. So we've got eight more minutes of boxer domination. Because you know in the third quarter, again, Notre Dame prep. These guys are starting to um, really get tired. They're, they're trying their best to stay with the boxes. But it's tough when you only got seven players and you got a fresh five coming in every so often for the boxes, and they're not missing a beat. When they took those starters out, that second team came in and actually upped the ante and really um, put on a show as far as defense goes and the transition game. And, and actually, this is good for the um, guys coming off the bench. Just gets them prepared for the upcoming um, playoff season and congratulations to the Brockton Boxers and their big three title win as they beat the uh, New Bedford Whalers Tuesday night down in New Bedford. Exciting basketball game. And the Boxers are your big three conference champions. So they will be heading, heading to the playoffs. Stolen by the boxes. Blakely tries to get it off, and a nice job by Nichols to tap that in for an easy two. Nichols getting a good workout inside, which he will need for the playoffs. Shot is missed, and it'll be Notre Dame's ball. So underneath, Notre Dame takes it out. Double team, stolen again. I can't even count the number of steals this evening by this Brockton defense. Just outstanding defense this evening.
They get it inside. Little spin move, no good. Korea with the rebound. And Blakely brings it up. Back out top. Three is good. Noah Alowu with the shot. Little jump shot is no good. Rebound boxes. Here comes Brittle in the corner. Shot is good again by Alowu. A sophomore for the boxes. Three point shot is in and out. That's been the case with the um, Notre Dame. They haven't had a lot of luck in this second half. Oh, nice move by Brittle. Notre Dame can't buy a shot here in the second half. A lot of shots going in and out of the basket. And that'll be Notre Dame's ball. And you can see Notre Dame's got their mini sub in there, number zero. I don't even have them on the score sheet, but they've got them in there. And he, oh, Korea missed a shot. Alowu hits the three again. That's three in a row, I believe, for Alowu. Five minutes left in this fourth quarter. Shot is missed. Back comes the boxes. Brittle in the corner. Tries to get inside the uh, Zenden and it's stolen by Notre Dame. And they're gonna call a foul. On Brittle. Trenton Biddle, a junior. And that's going to be a jump ball. Nice job by Diamond Blakely to tie up that shot. There's a foul in the paint. Four twenty-five left in this fourth quarter. Box is up 91-34. Ooh, nice defense there by the uh, Notre Dame team. On um, number 44 for the boxes, Epke. Sending Korea comes back with the ball, lays it up and in. Nowhere to go in the paint, so he gets it back outside and stolen. Ooh, nice recovery there by Ipke. Stolen by Biddle. He's going to take it all the way. Finger roll, no good, but Zenden's there to pick up the pieces. Box is 97, 34. And there's a whistle. Uh, 
And that'll be on number 31 for the boxes. And the boxes just playing tenacious defense tonight, folks. One good thing, the referees basically have, has let the uh, both teams play. Not a lot of whistles. 3.13 left. Box is only three points away from the 100 point mark. Top of the key. Shot is in and out. You can see boxes went back to a zone defense. I'm not sure when that happened, but you know the first half they started out with a man-to-man. -man, and that worked just perfectly. In and out again. And they're going to call a foul. Russell ran really battling inside as best as he can. Not a lot of help. But he'll go to the free throw line and I believe shoot two. A 30, a, let's see. A 59 point lead. And there you go, 99, 38. With two minutes left in this ball game. Box is trying to break the century mark. Bomb is good by number one, William Hannon. Hammond. Blakely shot is good. Boxers reach the century mark, 101-41. Minute 30 seconds to go. Boxers are coming out of here with the win and will improve their record. They will, imp Boxers will improve to 10 and five and Notre Dame prep will drop to eight and 10. And again, congratulations to the boxers in their uh, big three championship. So with that win over New Bedford, they get, they get an automatic bid into the, um, the big dance. Silva, long three, no good. And they're going to call a foul on the box, one of the boxes. And that'll be on number 34, Nichols. Shot is blocked. Starks, air ball. And nice job by Silva. Going in strong. 50 seconds left in this ball game. From the corner. In and out. And that was... Ran, and he 
battled, got the offensive boards and put it right back up and he's at the free throw line again for two. 40 seconds on the clock. Silva with the long three, in and out. Rain, but it's stolen. Starks, bang. 19 seconds left, Stark hits a downtown three. Silva just takes it, picks his pocket, and misses the, he tried to slam it in. And missed the slam. What we got on the replay here? Starks, well, look at where he's at. Way back from the three-point line and hits the shot. And there's the buzzer, folks. Boxers come out of here with a 106. 47. Trudging of Notre Dame prep. And it was all defense. Notre Dame. I'm mean, excuse me, it was all defense this evening. And it was an exciting game for the boxers, but there you have it, folks. Again, boxers 106, Notre Dame prep 47. And again, congratulations to Brockton Boxers on their uh, Big Three Championship. I'm Miles Jackson here for BCA Sports. We appreciate all the help from downstairs in the tech truck and up top with the cameraman. Did a fine job. Until next time, folks, we'll see you later.